Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Kerr, and I'm the manager of the Dale Etheridge Planetarium at the College of Southern Nevada on the North Las Vegas campus. Welcome to the September 15th edition of the Las Vegas Weekly Night Sky. In these videos, we hope to let you know a little bit about what you can go outside and look for in the nighttime sky. Next Sunday evening, the 21st, Saturn will be at opposition in the night sky. What is opposition? On that date, Saturn will rise just as the sun is setting, essentially putting the Earth, Sun, and Saturn in a line. It is at opposition that a planet that orbits farther from the sun is at its closest point to Earth for the year. This also means that the planet will be at its brightest for us. This opposition for Saturn also coincides with its rings being nearly edge-on for us. The rings will appear as a thin line bisecting the planet. Saturn's rings are very thin anyway, only about a football field in thickness, and it's amazing that we're even able to see them at all. As Earth and Saturn both orbit the Sun, we sometimes see the rings edge on like is happening now, and sometimes see them at an angle that makes them much easier for us to see. Saturn is the only planet easily visible in the evening sky right now, as Mars is setting fast in this west. Also on September 21st, there will be a new moon and a partial solar eclipse that will be visible only in the South Pacific. So if you're heading to New Zealand, or maybe even Western Antarctica, you'll be able to see this one. Partial eclipses only cover a part of the Sun. A total eclipse covers the entire surface, while an annular eclipse sees the Moon covering the Sun with a ring of the Sun's surface visible around the edge of the Moon. For us, the Moon will be nowhere near covering the Sun. If you're an early riser, you can still look for Jupiter near Castor and Pollux, as well as Venus in the constellation Leo in the east in the morning before sunrise. On the morning of the 19th, a thin crescent moon will join Venus and bright star Regulus. This will be a very nice sight in the morning sky. When objects in the night sky are very close together, we call this a conjunction. The moon is quite often passing in front of objects in the sky, but we rarely take time to notice. In this case, it won't pass in front for us, but it will provide a good chance for some spectacular images of the three objects. Join us again next Monday for some new weekly sky highlights. I look forward to seeing you at the planetarium.